Good morning. It is 8.02 a.m. on Friday, December 22nd, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I uh, sort of just got up. This is five more minutes. I say sort of just because, you know, with Luna, we've got a whole kind of new morning routine now. Um, and, uh, you know, trying to figure out how to get all of that implemented and... Uh, integrated into all the normal things that I do and I don't know why I'm suddenly talking like this but uh, you know um, we're working on it getting there um, last night was a little rough though um, I, Luna uh, you know so first of all I guess let me describe briefly what we're doing for Luna during her her recovery uh, so first of all, since she can't really walk still on her hind legs, um, to get her outside to the walking area, uh, I made the little wagon thing. And uh, then I've got a little sling um, made out of uh, fabric that kind of loops around her hind legs so I can kind of support the weight of her hind legs, uh, her hind end, and while she walks around with her, her front legs. Um, and that is functional, but obviously not ideal for either of us. <laughs> um, and uh, so sometimes I think um, it's less comfortable than she wants. And so she will want to try to, it, basically we frequently split the difference between her wanting to come inside early before she's actually done what she needs to do or she just wants to wander all over the place and go to the places she would normally go if she was able to get around just fine. So um, neither of those are conductive to a quick, efficient uh, process of uh, you know, peeing and pooping outside. Um, so what that sometimes means is uh, that if she kind of holds it a little bit and doesn't go as much as she needs to, um, we can end up sort of offset um, and, you know, in terms of the scheduling. And so last night we had a couple of instances of minor accidents and then also having to get up and go outside again at 1 a.m. and at 4 a.m. Now that has not been typical so far since I've had her home and just kind of worked out that way. Um, but, you know, we're getting there. Um, the other things that uh, we do is, uh, so she's on pain meds still, but we're easing the dosages back. And, and fortunately, she actually doesn't seem like she's in too much pain. So that's, uh, that's good. I think it's still mostly just the incision on her back um, that's still sore. Um, and uh, then we've got a couple of little physical therapy exercises that we do for her where I... Uh, well, make sure to stretch out her hind legs in the full range of movement so they don't stiffen up. And uh, then I also will support her weight kind of to help her just stand on her four feet um, for a few minutes at a time. And um, she's not a big fan of either of those. I mean, it makes sense that she wouldn't be. I mean, if you think about when have you ever heard of some like a person doing their physical therapy after an injury or a surgery and uh, how fun was it? Um, but we're getting there and uh, she's definitely improving. Um, I'm seeing more and more movement from her hind legs by the day, although there's still a long way to go. Um, but so we started the GoFundMe yesterday and uh, I think we got we got over um, over three hundred dollars yesterday, which you know, hey, every little bit helps. Oh, you know what? Actually, I I, I just checked and it was actually four hundred and eighteen dollars is what we're up to right now. So, you know, we're we're uh, I I'm very appreciative to everybody who's who's donated so far, and uh, or if you're just helping to spread the word, it's it's very appreciated. And, uh, you know, uh, Luna and I are still, you know, working on trying to see how, how back to normal we can get. Um, and part of that, you know, <laughs> uh, is, uh, you know, uh, anticipating the 
potentially bad weather we might get here in the next couple of weeks. I can only imagine what those walks are going to be like if it's, say, doing sleet outside. But, you know, we'll, we'll get through. We're going to muddle on through it. And, uh, and if nothing else, the, the, the moral support everybody has shown online has been really wonderful. So thank you for that. Um, and in the meantime, I do actually have to go to work today. So I'm going to uh, finish up here and I will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.